Hello everyone and welcome to another video on uh, Inbox AI. This time a little bit longer one, uh, a little bit more in depth and I'll go through setting up Inbox AI all the way from downloading it from the App Store uh, to integrating it with the majority of uh, Tana features. Um, so let's dive into it. Um, it's a little bit organic and we'll go through each step one by one. Uh, and if you have any questions, I would recommend you join the Slack community um, and ask them there. Uh, you can also ask for help for, for many people in the community who are making, uh, uh, making nice actions for Inbox AI. Okay, let's get started. The first thing you actually get welcomed with is this screen where it asks you to set up a default AI provider. And now in this case, I'm going to go for OpenAI. It's the easiest to, uh, to show off right now. And what we need is an API key. And if we click this link, it will actually go into the uh, platform and we need to log in. Uh, in this case, I'll log into my personal account. And hopefully you'll go into, um, uh, into your organization where you need to add an API key. Now I have a couple, I'll go to my personal one. And in this case, I will create a new secret key um, for inbox AI and put it in the default project, create secret key. We're gonna copy it uh, to the uh, clipboard and we're gonna paste it right in here for the warning to disappear. Now note that this is different from a chat GPT account. You need to create an account uh, on the platform.openai website and you need to fund it. Uh, so make sure that you have at least, I would say $25 in there. And especially if you're gonna be using the, the real-time API, which the assistant uses, um, it's quite expensive. Uh, but you can use cheaper options if you want. Um, using the $25 uh, dollars in there is important because else there will be a lot of rate limits and it will uh, complain that you might be using it too much um, and by adding some money to it uh, is the easiest way to get started. Okay, so using this, actually we have a working version of Inbox AI. Uh, if we go to the triggers, you can see there's a couple of hotkeys. One is uh, to make a screenshot and uh, send it to uh, the task uh, on the screen to Apple Reminders. Um, and uh, the Control S is the audio for the assistant. So let's test that out. How are you doing? Hello, Andre. How can I help you today? Now, as you can see, um, it will keep running on the, um, uh, on the background here uh, for, I think, by default, it's about 15 seconds. Uh, let's go into the assistant and we'll see that, yeah, it's 15 seconds. But for this demonstration, I'll turn it to infinite. Uh, so we have a little bit more time uh, and I would recommend you do that for yourself too if you just want to keep this notification open. It does mean that every time we change something in the assistant, we'll need to restart it. Uh, but I think that's, that's an easier way uh, to get started. Now, as you can see, there's a whole gallery of things here and we're gonna start by adding Tana. So Tana comes with a few actions, but first we need to set them up. As you can see, the little orange dot here. Uh, we also need an API key for, uh, for Tana. And uh, let's go back to, where were we? Uh, Arc. Uh, let's go to Tana. Uh, let's wait to load. And we're gonna create our OPI key under settings, API tokens, and create. Now note that it says token copy to clipboard, but it doesn't. So click here to copy the token to the clipboard. Um, and then we're gonna add this to here. Let's see, yes, this is the correct one. And here and there. And that's actually everything uh, to get the basics up and running. So let's see um, how it actually works. Hey, could you send the word example to uh, my Tana inbox? Please provide the recipient's email address. No, sorry, Tana inbox. Please provide the email address you would like me to send the example to. I forgot one step. Uh, as you can see, the assistant doesn't seem to know what Tana is. Uh, and that's because by default, it is set uh, to add stuff to Apple Reminders. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove Apple Reminders and we're gonna add the create tasks and we're gonna add the create notes. Uh, to Tana. Now, as I said, when we change something here, we'll need to press escape uh, to stop the AI. 
meant to restart it. And now, when we restart it, it should know what Tana is. Hey, can you add some example content to Tana for me? Uh, say the word example. Example. What content would you like to add to Tana? Uh, the ex word example content. I've added example content to Tana for you. You see, it's quite easy to add these actions and then from the AI saying like, oh, I don't know what you mean, to, hey, I just did it for you. Um, now, in order to send tasks to the API, you'll need to get the super tag ID of your task. Uh, it's a little bit uh, convoluted. This is the way it is in, in Tana right now. What I'm going to do is just super tag something with my to-do task, go to configure task, then press command K, go to copy link. Uh, it says link copy to clipboard. I'm going to close this window. We're going to paste that link here and we're just going to use the node ID part. So again, configure, go to the title, copy the link and paste the super tag ID here. Um, and let's see how that actually works. Again, we changed something, so we need to stop it and restart it. Hey, can you add um, a task to Tana, say, for me to pick up coffee? There we go. And the task pick up coffee has been added to Tana. Cool. So the basics are up and running. Let's remove these from uh, my inbox because needing them anymore and we'll go on uh, to a little bit more interesting parts so one of the things you need to see now is that it always sends stuff to the inbox but maybe you want to send it to the day node or to some other node and currently it cannot read anything from Tana uh, and that's gonna make it really interesting so in order to do that we're gonna need some Tana commands we're gonna stop the AI for a bit and we're gonna install the Tana command we're gonna Raycast to get my clipboard, uh, but you can get this uh, URL uh, from uh, the YouTube video description below. Uh, and basically, it's a command um, allowing you to install some AI commands in Tana. So we're going to install them. Quite a few clicks. Uh, add to home. And then we have the Tana commands here. Um, as you can see, there's two commands, discuss node with AI and send node ID to AI. And when you first run these, uh, you need to fill in the, the browser that you're actually using. So in my case, I'm using Arc. Um, I tried Safari before, and though it works, it opens a new window every time, so it's a little bit annoying. Uh, I'm guessing Chrome will work the same as, um, um, uh, as Arc, and the Tana desktop app will also work fine. So copy this one. We're going to do send node to AI with the command K, and then it will ask for the browser bundle ID, which we're going to paste in here. Cool. Now, this is all set up. We're going to go back to today, and one of the things we're going to do is say that we have a journal entry. So, um, my day. We're going to just generate something with AI. So, let's say um, I woke up early. Magnificent uh, power of Tana AI to fill in a perfect journal entry. Now, say I just um, I just journaled this and I wanted to discuss it with AI. Now I can Command K and I'm gonna discuss this note with AI. And what you can see is that if I close this one, it will be a little bit annoying. Um, I just shared a journal entry with you. Can you add some interesting prompts? Um, uh, for me to continue journaling underneath them. What is Here are do? some prompts. One, describe a moment where you felt truly... That's very interesting, but can you add them to Tana? Ah, there we go. The prompts have been added to your journal entry. You can... <laughs> so uh, let's uh, shut, uh, shut him up for a bit, and here you can see uh, the prompts. So in this case, um, let's say, describe a moment where you truly felt at peace. What were you doing? What made it special? Um, I think it was my cup of coffee. So 
not only can you then target things, you can also discuss things. And of course, it remembers everything you've just told it. So if we can uh, send this note also, let's discuss this note with AI. I filled down one of the uh, prompts that you gave me. What do you think about my answer? Please highlight the text you wrote and I'll take a look at it. I just sent it to you. Just look, uh, look back. It's the Tana no daddy. The text currently shared is simply, it was my coffee. It seems like a good start, but you could elaborate more. For instance, you could describe the setting, the taste and aroma of the coffee and how it made you feel truly at peace. Adding more details can enrich your entry. Okay, so when we started this conversation, I shared some journal entry with it. Um, can you reflect on that one and say uh, what happened? Certainly. Here's a reflection on your shared journal entry. You described a peaceful morning where you woke up early and were greeted by the soft light of dawn. As you can see, it can um, sort of like send different things all together. Um, if you want, uh, you can also just uh, keep talking and sending more and more notes. So in this case, uh, say that um, we uh, clear this one. We're going to add another journal entry uh, from yesterday. And we're going to just do in yesterday I um, woke a little bit more. Of course, we're going to keep this one. Top. And now we're going to restart the AI and we're going to discuss yesterday. Uh, so we're going to do discuss note with AI. Hey, I just sent you the journal entry for yesterday and I'm going to send you another one now. Uh, so I sent you two journal notes. Um, can you sort of help me reflect, spar with me for a bit? It sounds like you've had two peaceful and reflective days. From waking up early and enjoying the morning light to taking a leisurely stroll in the park, you've connected with nature. Yeah, I didn't really do that. But uh, it's nice that the AI uh, <laughs> has such a, such a nice way to describe my days. So you can see the power of this, right? So you can send uh, as many of your notes to AI and then just discuss with them uh, same as you would with the advanced voice mode. Um, the cool part is here is you can also take this information and then use all kinds of activities. So for instance, if you're interested in sending a, a little summary of your last two days to your mom, for instance, you can just add, hey, can you draft an email for my mother um, summarizing uh, the last few days for me? Um, just make up an email address for my mother. Now, what it did is it took all of that information and put it into an email. Now, remember when you're sending something to your mom to uh, not uh, say love your name, uh, I think it will uh, sort of be kind of like uh, obvious that you didn't write it yourself. Um, but again, it's really cool to see that you can sort of take different pieces of information uh, coming in. Now, this is the voice part of Inbox AI. Uh, if you go in, you can see there's a couple of other things that you can actually do. So we have incoming emails and watch directories and we have screenshots. So let's set up some screenshots. So in this case, there's a different hotkey for a screenshot and currently it's set to Apple Reminders, but we're going to set that to Tana. And this is everything that we actually need to do. Um, let's stop this AI. Uh, let's go into Slack because I have this message here, we're going to hit the keyboard shortcut. We're going to make a nice box around it. And what's actually going to happen is it will send, hopefully, uh, the tasks uh, into my Tana inbox. There we go. So in this case, it was a little bit difficult to extract the task, but it sent uh, a task uh, from this uh, right in there. If you want, you can also discuss the thing after it. You can see that the bubble came up. Uh, so after you created a screenshot, you can just start a conversation about that screenshot. Um, but for now, 
I think this is the, the basic uh, setup here. In the gallery, you also have some stuff like to transcribe. And the last thing I want to show you is the email processor. If we click that, you can see that a email processor gets added. And basically, it's if you go into it, it's another AI prompt, um, which will look at incoming emails. In this case, um, uh, categorize it as junk or relevant or task. And it will send it, in this case, um, to one of these categories, and it will do something to it. So in this case, and we're going to set this one uh, to the extract tasks and add, uh, in this case. Um, and now, when we create an email, this is to myself. Oh, uh, let's say, make it very explicit, so the AI is a little bit dumb. Remind me to pick up coffee. And don't mind, remind me to pick up coffee. I'm going to send it. And it will take a little bit for the email to arrive. But when it does arrive, it should uh, extract the task and send it to the inbox. There we go. So this is the total of what you can do with HANA. Um, I think there's a lot more that you can actually uh, do with Inbox AI. Um, but I wanted to show you off the basics. And um, even though it's not a single step to set it all up, uh, it does mean that it's, uh, it should be a little bit easier using this, uh, this video. Um, please get Inbox AI on the App Store. And remember, if you want to use the latest version, just join the Slack community. Uh, and feel free to ask any questions.